The suspect in the incident that ended her uh, has finally been charged four months later. Yeah, this is the kind of justice that they're doing in Tennessee. Okay. Uh, Tennessee, a red state that has very two blue, very blue, two, two blue, two very blue trash cities. Okay. Uh, with a lot of activists now, a lot of radical activists who, by the way, were not from uh, Tennessee. They're from San Francisco. One's from San Francisco, one's from somewhere else. I don't know. But uh, we, we know about the, remember the incident when they had to impeach those three for um, uh, blocking Congress, the state Congress from doing what they have to do. Yeah. I just, I'm guessing this is one of them states here. It's Belmont University. I don't know where that is. But last November, a Tennessee college student was popped off in the head by a man who previously released for incompetent to stand trial. So they're declaring this guy incompetent to stand trial, but yet he's competent enough to uh, braid his hair, dreadlock his hair, whatever you want to call that. Uh, but they're declaring him incompetent to stand trial. So they just let him loose. In connection to another Papao uh, and the, and the Papa suspect was charged with a felony felony M and tampering with evidence four months later. 18-year-old Belmont University student Jillian Ludwig was struck by a stray bullet in November while walking on a track in Ingle Hill Memorial Gardens Park. This is Nashville police. So yeah, I was right. This is Nashville. Uh, Shaquille Taylor, age 29, was supposed to be in court that week for a different previous, a different, a different previous charge. Who wrote this? It's Christina Layla. <laughs> it's always her. Oh, geez. at least she's not a liar, right? Police said Taylor fired a gun from public housing unit near the park. The bullet missed a car, which was intended to which was the intended target and instead struck Jillian Ludwig. Ludwig was rushed to a nearby hospital in extremely critical condition and passed from her injuries later that day. Shaquille Taylor is jailed in lieu of $280,000 bond on charges of aggravated assault and evidence tampering for Tuesday afternoon's gun fire. A grand jury finally returned a felony murder indictment on the for the death of Jillian Ludwig. This is four months, guys. Four months later. Shaquille Taylor had a long rap sheet and had been criminally charged several times. In 2021, Shaquille Taylor and another suspect popped off a lady while she was in her car with two kids. The charges were dismissed this year after Taylor was found incompetent to stand trial due to testimony by court-appointed doctors. Okay, look, at this point, at this point, uh, Tennesseans, Southerners, why don't you pay him to go after the judges that are letting them off? Why don't you do that? He'll do anything for fifty dollars. I don't understand you guys. I don't. I don't well, why do you? Well, you guys just call the cops and pray. That's all you do now. A, a mother of two, a college student, and another incident, and no one's taking this guy out. Everyone's just like, "Oh, we'll just pray harder next time." We're the South. Julian's family is suffering unimaginable grief after a career criminal took her out. Yeah, I would imagine. And unfortunately, uh, even her parents don't have the bulls to do something about it.